Hello you buckets, I'm Minipa, and today I want to show you how to do the best money making method that gives you the highest profit rate currently. Or in my case, about 8 to 12 million per hour on average. Also, I'll be making more guides like this, including the scamming protection guide, so if this content helped you, please don't forget to subscribe. And now, timestamps. Okay, so my main focus today is art farming, or farming paintings and statues from red. This method yields a much higher profit when compared to Gulliver farming and is actually comparable to turnip looping. The latter is buying turnips when Daisy May is at your island and finding a friend with a turnip price and continuously selling to them over and over. However, art farming does not require a friend or anyone else to have a high turnip price. It can basically be done and farmed at any given time and can be sold at any given time. However, this method will require time traveling. The first step in making profit off of selling art is to farm a large stock of it from red. If you haven't seen my art farming video already, please do so on the link on the top right. Now I won't go in detail here, but here are the steps required to do so. Number one, you need to have unlocked red as a random visitor, and this can be done after going through the beginning process in my art video. Number two, time travel a day forward continuously until you find red. This usually takes 20 to 25 minutes. He comes around every two weeks. If you found him recently, you gotta time travel back or time travel for 15 days and it go day by day from there. So the next two steps are optional but will greatly increase long-term productivity. Number one, move your house to the secret beach area. And number two, create three alt accounts, all of which are close to the secret beach area. This is because red spawns at the secret beach area and then this will actually cut some time off farming because you don't have to run there every time. The second thing you want to understand for making money off of art is knowing which of the 43 different paintings and statues you should be looking for. While there is a market for all the art, painting or statue, real or fake, there's actually certain ones that are far easier to sell and those are in my opinion far better to stock other than every single one. For that, I will actually suggest looking at this Google document with all of real and fake statues compared side by side link of which will be in description. My personal discord will also be in the description. Join it for cookies. What about the special ones to consider? The start of real. Here's the list of art that are in much higher demand compared to the other ones, in the order of rarest to most common from my own farming runs. First, the great statue, and then the valiant statue, and then the wild painting, left and right side, the gallant statue, the robust statue, the beautiful statue, and then the warrior statue, which is actually pretty common. Most of these are worth a lot because when compared to other pieces of art, they are far rarer in their spawn rates. Not only that, statues also provide far better aesthetics when it comes to island decoration. This makes them more desirable even when people have already filled their museums. A curious case is actually the warrior statue. The reason why the warrior statue is in high demand despite being relatively common is because of a terracotta warrior's theme. People will want to dig holes in the ground and put dozens of them to be able to make that specific style. Keep in mind that other art can be sold as well. I'm just saying these seven, in my observations, are in the highest demand. Now let us move on to the fakes. While there are people who decorate their towns with fake paintings, those are actually very few in between. I only found one person buying them after about like three hours of trading. In my opinion, fake paintings are not worth it unless you find wild paintings left or right. For the statues, however, it is a different story. While they are cheaper compared to the real statues, they seem to be in higher demand as people still use them as decoration. Not only that, but the price is much lower without having major deviations in looks. This makes them more desirable in a way that they can be used for decoration, and they're often half or even a third of the price of the real ones. Here's a list of the ones in higher demand, order from the rarest to most common. The Valiant Statue, the Gallon Statue, the Beautiful Statue, the Robust Statue, the Wild Painting Left and Right, and a Warrior Statue. While it is a viable strategy to buy every single piece of art and statue, fake or not, I can tell you that selectively farming the ones that are in much higher demand will make it far easier, as many people actually buy these in bulk. Some people might want to have 10 fake gallon statues, or 10 fake beautiful statues, or like 100 warrior statues. Limiting the variety of your stock also makes it a lot easier when you're selling. You don't have to give estimates, you don't have to have 4 different paintings or all these different combinations. It'll basically streamline an art business if that's what you're going for. Keep in mind that statues such as the Rockhead statue, the Ancient statue, and the Mystic statue, these are all sellable, but the ones I listed, far easier. Now here's a note, if there's no high demand art in stock, Buy any real statue or painting in your current trip. If they are all fake, buy a statue. However, if you get unlucky and you get 4 fake paintings, just refresh red again and don't bother buying anything. 
The next section is understanding prices. So now that you have a good idea in what you're looking for, you must now understand how much they can sell for at a comfortable speed as well as profit. I mainly focus on Animal Crossing New Horizons Discord because Nukazon tends to take longer for people to reply my own experience, thus lowering their total profit per hour. The ACNH Discord link will also be in the description. Now let's start with real paintings. I personally don't think it's worth the time to buy fake painting. I personally think it is not worth it to sell paintings individually. This is because it takes time for you to DM someone to get them to come over. It's just a lot more worth it to sell them in bulk, even if it's at a discount. It'll save a lot of time, and that time you save could be used to farm even more rare statues. Let's take a look at this for example. I made a transaction of 10 statues in painting. If I made 10 separate trips, that would have been 30 minutes to an hour. I could have farmed 20 to 30 other statues within that time frame. Never think about individual profit, always think about profit per hour. So buying every single real painting is actually a good strategy. It's also what I did myself when starting out. However, I started only looking for the wild paintings and the larger paintings such as the scenic painting as the sheer variety of stock I had was beginning to overwhelm me. If you sell paintings in bulk, 5 Nook Mouse tickets per painting is a good price. You can charge 10 Nook Mouse tickets for larger paintings such as the Amazing Painting or the Scenic Painting. The Wild Painting server can actually be sold relatively easily for as high as 70 Nook Mouse tickets. My recommendation is to sell any painting other than the Wild Paintings in bulk as that will raise your profit per hour as in my experience, you're basically guaranteed a real painting slash statue every time you refresh red. Now let's go to the real statues. From my experience, I will list the prices that I have personally sold them and have seen other people buy and sell them at. For the Great Statue, I'll put 90 Nook Mouse tickets, the Valiant Statue, 80 Nook Mouse tickets, the Gallon Statue, 50 Nook Mouse tickets, the Robust Statue, another 50 Nook Mouse tickets, the Tremendous Statue, 45 tickets, the Motherly Statue, 35, the Beautiful Statue, 30, the Rock Hat Statue, 20, and every other statue can be sold for 8 to 15 tickets. I wouldn't refer to Nukazon offers as real prices because oftentimes those stay on for a while and nobody ever buys them. A lot of people on Nukazon are actually overcharging clowns and those are not a good reference if you want to sell your stock at any considerable speed. Not only that, those prices I showed you are guideline. It is definitely possible to sell them for higher, but the numbers I listed are prices you can comfortably sell at quickly without getting lowballed. Now let's move on to fake paintings. Fake paintings are frankly difficult to estimate. However, the times I have sold them were always in bulk for about 2 to 4 Nook Mouse tickets each. Fake paintings are not worth it in my opinion. The only reason I was selling them was because I didn't know better and I bought every single one whenever I farmed. Continuing on to fake statues. So for the Valiant statue, 30 tickets. The Gallon statue, 20. The Beautiful statue, 15. The Robust statue, 10. The Motherly, 10. Tremendous statue, 10 and every other statue I will sell for 5 and sometimes 10, but focus on 5. I'm gonna say this again, try to sell in bulk. Now that you have a good idea of what to sell and how much to sell them for, now it's actually time to market your stock. From my own experience, putting a post that says selling fake slash real statues DM me or selling real paintings DM me in the Red Art Trade channel has actually been more successful when it comes to the rate of offers, at least when compared to listing your entire stock in order and then putting prices right inside them. I think this is likely attributed to the fact that you get to spend more time with a potential buyer, this could build rapport for your sales, and having like an estimate of what people want, it could also prevent buyers from being overwhelmed by the sheer stock volume. Through this method, I made multiple sales within an hour that have more than 10 items each and up to 115 tickets in a single transaction. There are many many ways to do this, I will suggest starting with the two posts I mentioned earlier and sort of change it until you find something that you're comfortable and you like to work with. Now remember, do not lowball your price. If somebody doesn't like the price you're offering, especially if you use my guidelines and they try to counter offer let's say half that, then it's fine to refuse the buyer. There's always going to be more people to buy your stuff. You don't need to drop your price by like 40 tickets just so you can make the sale. Like never do that. Now the next session I want to cover is typical trade. Once you have made your post, found a buyer, then worked a deal, it's time to go to the next step. So double check your stock and make sure it is indeed what you are selling. If you are taking directly from your storage, remember that real art will be sorted first and then fake art will be sorted later. So once you grab your art, put them on the ground and check again. Remember, as a seller, you want to be responsible and you want to take pictures of your art just to let your buyers know that they are real and you want to send it to them. I just screen cap my Streamlabs since I have a capture card, so you can use the switch picture function or your phone if you don't have that. 
Now, once both sides are satisfied, one of you will go to the other's islands. Both ways are fine, as there are ways to prevent being scammed in our trading. I personally prefer for the trade to occur on my own island, but if you prefer the other way, that is fine as well. Give or enter the Dota code and the trade will continue. Once you or they have arrived, both sides will drop their items for the transaction and then pick them up. Check if the payment is correct, then after that, bid them farewell and the visitor will head home. Once this is done, you are ready to start the process again for more profit. Now remember, scammers do exist in Animal Crossing. I've never been scammed in art, but honestly, after being scammed for the Raymond, that's something you want to watch out for. If somebody tries to leave your island or tries to kick you out before you have the chance to check their payment, or if you found out that the payment is wrong, if they do that, immediately go to the home screen and close your game. This will get a communication error and everything will reset. And after that, you immediately want to report the person so they immediately get banned from the Discord and can never scam someone in there again. So that's the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed and notifications turned on already, make sure you do. I will be releasing a scam protection guide video, and that is something that none of you should miss out on. Anyways, huge thanks to my YouTube members, Vexjax, Valazan, and Michael Scardina. Stay cool, you buckets. Like and comment on the video for a chance to win a bag of douches. Peace, your shits.